Do you know how many no's a prospect goes through before he makes a yes decision? I do. If you wait a couple seconds, I'll share it with you inside. Years ago, when I was teaching sales to our teams throughout the United States and overseas, I added a program from Wilson Learning Institute in Minneapolis, Minnesota called Counselor Selling. The program had to do with the four stages of no the mind goes through when making a significant decision. Decisions like buying a house, buying a car, or a major capital outlay of any kind. Emotional decisions like getting married, having a baby, transferring. For years I used this formula in making selling presentations and it rarely if ever failed. It will work for you and you'll get more traffic converting on your site if you put it into practice. <clears throat> Ironically, many in the internet marketing industry have worked at describing this formula without being able to specifically touch on each of the four stages. Let's take a look at the four no's and see if we can adjust our marketing and advertising to get an even greater response. My plan is to do a five-part series, this being the intro followed by how to handle each of the four no's. And those are no trust, no need, no help, and no hurry. No trust seems to be given a lot of attention lately, but bloggers tend to put this step at the end rather than at the beginning of the process. The fact is, if you don't capture the reader's trust up front, they stop listening. When you have their trust, they'll follow you around. No need. Once no trust is established, the prospect automatically begins denying they have a need. We see that a lot in our business. It sounds like this in their head. You know, I think I can trust Mike, but I don't think I have a need for his product. This defense mechanism is used to slow the process down. No help. Seems like no sooner do you gain agreement that a need exists than the prospect's attention focuses on you not having anything that will help. It's a natural reaction to subconsciously realizing they might buy something. It will pass during this stage. No hurry. Once you've scratched the itch, so to speak, and they agree that you've filled the need, they actually begin to stall. Kind of like trying to marry someone, and when you get to the altar, they tell you they're not sure they love you. Okay, so that's the four no's and a brief explanation of each. I think you'll be surprised at how each of them is handled beginning with the trust issue. So until next PR, I'm Mike Sparrow from m and Prosperity Team saying God bless you with health and abundance and bye for now.